let's uh, go ahead and bring it in there. <clears throat> Howdy do there, neighbor Reno, winecellarmedia.com. Uh, finding something interesting here that I'd like to go ahead and take a good, good, uh, a giggity gosh darn look at there, buddy chief. Let me go ahead and get the, um, the function functioning. There we are. Feels a little better that way. My decibels are. Oh, those are decibels I can be proud of. <clears throat> Morning wine cellar. It is 4.15 in the a.m. Laundry is in down at the basement on the move, right? I have that going. I have um, chicken cooking to be um, used for meal prep later for the whole household. A lot, about now yeah, maybe like uh, like five pounds of chicken cooking all together, maybe. That's going. The youngsters are asleep at the regular floor level. Phoenix Kaleeder's resting upstairs, or maybe on Twitter. Phoenix Kaleeder might be on Twitter right now <laughs> at uh, 4.15 in the a.m. You know, the random little wakesy doozy, tweetsy poozy, right? And I am here in the wine cellar office taking a look at something or other. And I know why you tuned in. You want to hear it. Oh, cool. I love stupid bullshit like this. You came for that. And that's what you're going to get. <laughs> All right, um, <clears throat> uh, Adrian Prachali uh, linked uh, me up to this. I think they may, they may had um, they may have seen when I um, I had a I had a link to that myself in a little post I had, and it was because uh, the one I had was the original that said an officer overdosed on fentanyl. And I was like, all right, that looks hilarious. But then the update comes out and it's that <laughs> questions are arising about claims that an officer overdosed on the fentanyl. So yeah, fentanyl, fentanyl. I think it's fentanyl. All right. And um, ABC News is um, covering the uh, questions arising, right? ABC News is saying um, experts question viral video of San Diego uh, deputies uh, fentanyl encounter, right? And um, Los Angeles Times, they have their headline up. Um, also questions arise over video of uh, San Diego deputies contact with fentanyl. Uh, articles up by Maria L. Langanga and article up by Ali Yang. All right. So uh, for Wine Cellar Media, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this here video that the police put up four minutes. I'm San Diego County Sheriff Bill Gore. What you're about to see is dramatic body-worn camera footage involving one of our deputies who was exposed to fentanyl during his patrol shift. You're okay. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not gonna let you die. Let me run, let me hear that again. What he said right there in the beginning. Sheriff Bill Gore. What you're about to see is dramatic body-worn camera footage involved. Dramatic body-worn, the word dramatic, like, it was that an out right there in the beginning? Like, I wonder if that was glossed over. Dramatic. Hmm. I'll be one of our deputies who was exposed to fentanyl during his patrol shift. You're okay. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not gonna let you die. It's okay. Just focus on your breathing, okay? Focus on it. I need more can. I'm Corporal Scott Crane from the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. My trainee was exposed to fentanyl and nearly died. It was our first radio call of the day, and this was a Deputy Five Eyes radio call. He found a white substance that he suspected was drugs. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's, it's a powder. Um, it could be cocaine or fentanyl. It, it tested together. positive for fentanyl. That stuff's no joke, dude, it's super dangerous. I was like, hey dude, too close. You can't get that close to hey, it. Dude. A couple seconds later, he took some steps back and he collapsed. I ran over to him and I 
grabbed him and he was Odin. Oh, cool. I love and stupid bullshit like this. Went to my trunk, grabbed the Narcan, came down to him, grabbed him, and I, I did one nasal spray in one nostril, opened the other one, another nasal spray in the other one. I remember just not feeling right and I fall back. You are the god dang whitest person I've ever seen. Trying to get him to focus on on just breathing. And because that fentanyl, you you can't breathe. It was in an instant. It's as though you like my lungs just locked up. I I, I, I couldn't breathe. I was trying to gasp for breath, but I I, I couldn't breathe at all. Are you okay? Talk to me. No, no. Okay, sorry. You're okay. Not gonna lie, don't be sorry. Sir. That's the sorry about I got you, okay? I'm not gonna let you die. I'm not gonna let you die. I need no can. Yes, queen. I'm trying to not let him go. Like, I'm just, I wanted him to know he wasn't alone. Keep it real. I don't fuck with you guys. He would have died in that parking lot if he was alone. Fire department got there, put him on the gurney. His eyes rolled back in his head, and he started to OD again. And he was ODing the whole way to the hospital. I don't think people realize the severity of just how deadly it really is. I'm Deputy David Fiveye, and I almost died of fentanyl overdose. I mean, Jesus was a white man. One of the too. greatest threats we currently face is a synthetic opioid fentanyl, which is 50 times more potent than heroin. Fentanyl overdoses are on the rise throughout our county. Every day, deputies recover fentanyl in our communities. And the county jails are not immune either to the dangers of this drug. Every week, sheriff's deputies intercept fentanyl entering our facilities. When inmates overdose on fentanyl smuggled into our jails, deputies and nurses are saving dozens of lives every month by administering naloxone, a medicine used to rapidly reverse the effects of the overdose. Fentanyl deaths in California have increased almost 46% in just the last year. Being exposed to just a few small grains of fentanyl could have deadly consequences. The dangers of fentanyl are real, and this drug is killing our communities. Please take the time to share this video. It might save the life of your son, daughter, friend, or a loved one. Ah, no, man, that doesn't seem uh, woke. And I'm, I'm woke as hell. All right. So that is a... um an interesting uh vidya that they have put up there <clears throat> and i was uh i was one of the folks because of, of course my my thing was uh <laughs> look at the piggy boy what happened to your son you know I, I was ready to have a good old time but then um adrian prachali who um uh ran on a green party ticket out there in um california uh holding it all the way down as it were uh linked me to these uh updates kind of flipping between the two uh uh by maria l laganga for the um maybe ganja i don't know g-a-n-g-a is the last name on this individual on uh los angeles times and they're saying that a public service video from san diego count from the san diego county sheriff's department about the dangers of fentanyl with footage of a deputy allegedly overdosing after a brief exposure. Now, now, how do we not know that this individual wasn't uh, stung by a murder hornet, a 5G murder hornet? That could have also happened. All right, now, <clears throat> it uh, continues. And this has uh, sparked a backlash and allegations that the anti-drug effort could harm the very people it's meant to help, law enforcement officers and drug users. The body-worn camera video is uh, stark and dramatic. A young sheriff's deputy opens opens the back of a suspect's car, sees a hot powder that he thinks is fentanyl, and then collapses to the pavement. His field of training off his field training officer rips open a package of uh, na- uh, nalo- naloxone. I am not very good with these drug names. I am not a uh, hospital doctor drugs guy. Uh, my drugs are like you know like 
salty food and booze. Uh, all right, so uh, the so he rips open a package of naloxone, uh, which is the antidote to the deadly drug, and vows, quote, I'm not going to let you die, end quote. The video ends with Sheriff Bill Gore warning that being exposed to just a few small grains of fentanyl could have deadly consequences. Uh, there's just one problem, the, the risks of so-called passive exposure to synthetic opioids such as fentanyl are overblown according to interview uh, according to interviews with medical experts and scientific studies. Uh, such inaccurate messaging and in, instilling unnecessary fear in first responders, they said, and it could cause them to be reluctant to treat people who have overdosed. Doesn't really seem like responsible business to be engaged in. I and mean, so far, again, I'm going by what these um the, these journalizers publishing their little fancy writings and researchings came up with. All right, uh, looking over here with um with Ali Yang. Ali Yang noting noting um coming off of what um <clears throat> what Maria here uh put in the L.A. Times and uh, bouncing over to Ali Yang over at ABC News with the medical experts raising questions about the video released. And um, quoting from the article, um, Dr. Priscilla Han, Han ooh, woo -hoo, Dr. Priscilla Han Udell looks phonetic as hell, really. Like, it really is like consonant letter, vowel, consonant vowel. Like, look, yeah, Han Udell is best I've got. Uh, Dr. Priscilla Hanudel, an emergency medicine physician in um, in Los Angeles and a member of the ABC News Medical Unit, says the officer was more likely to have fainted or suffered a seizure than to have had any reaction to the potent opioid just by having it flying around in the vehicle and breathing it in. Another doctor, Stephanie Widmer, um, an emergency medicine physician and medical toxicology fellow in New York, uh, says that overdoses most commonly happen when the drug is injected directly into the bloodstream or snorted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we, um, we have a quote from Dr. Stephanie Widmer saying, um, people with the intent to get high may overdose after snorting or in or um insufflating insufflating i don't know that word pause wine cellar crowd i'm looking up a word i've never seen before what the fuck is insufflating these niggas going to insufflate my vocabulary with these funky ass words the fuck is that like I can get context clues like while I'm reading it, but fuck that. I want to fucking. All right, let's see. Um, insufflate. One, medicine, blow, um, air, gas, or powder into a cavity of the body. Holy shit. Uh, two, theology, blow or breathe or. So like, you're talking about like having the shit shot into their lungs. Insufflating is that what that is? Huh. Wait, let me do, let's take a look just a little bit more, folks. All right. They're just going to throw brand new words at my ass. I'm not educated. God damn it. Um, all right. I'm on the Merriam-Webster joint. Um, a, a Christian ceremonial rite of exorcism. That's probably not what they're talking about. Uh, B, medicine. Uh, the act of blowing something such as a drug in powdered form into a body cavity. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to get together with some fucking hardcore horrorcore uh, rappers and do a song called Insufflate My Ass. All right, that is something. All right, so um, so uh, back to the quote from uh, Dr. Stephanie Widmer in the article by Ali Yang on ABC News. Uh, <clears throat> quote, people with the intent to get high may overdose after snorting or insufflating 
fentanyl. Uh, this is not to be confused with passively inhaling fentanyl powder that somehow became suspended in the air. Overdosing from such an exposure would be exceedingly rare and unlike and likely unheard of, end quote. I think I may have read tone into that that wasn't there, but that I hope was there. I hope she said that with some tone. Like, I hope she got real uppity on these niggas, if that's her pronouns and shit. Um, Hanudel also said that uh, law enforcement officers and healthcare workers don't commonly experience overdoses of the drug, and such a reaction is, quote, almost never seen. This ain't, hey, th th these are the smart people, all right? Look at that, okay? Her name right there? That says Dr. Stephanie Widmer. That means that she has sat down like a fucking nerd and read all sorts of nerdy nerd research and studies that William has not read. So I'm just going with the geek, not the pigs. All right? The cops say something. The nerds say something. I'm, I'm kind of, I want to ride with the nerds. All right, let's, uh, let's bounce back over to the Los Angeles Times. Uh, with the article up by Maria L. Langanga. I hope I'm saying that person's name correctifiably. Oh, let's uh, whoop, skip to flip to do. My bad there, feller folks. There we are. All right, now um, they have a, uh, a part coming up here where a... Um, a Dr. Lewis Nelson, uh, chairman of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Rutgers uh, New Jersey Medical School, they're saying this is a big deal. I'm concerned that the officers themselves are being psychologically harmed. There is more of a PTSD-like fear of this drug when in reality it's not warranted. There is no risk of poisoning from such an exposure, and I fear people won't uh, people won't rescue those who have overdosed because of the fear of being exposed. Now, the nerds have spoken. The journalists have publicized what the nerds have said. William is a 38-year-old colored feller that don't trust things. <laughs> now, one of the things that old 38-year-old colored man ass William don't trust is the police fellers. I think the police fellers lie. I think they kill. I think they steal. And I think they destroy. All right. Now, just that last thing that came from um, nerdy nerd nerd researcher that researches and studies nerd things, Dr. Lewis Nelson says, makes me a wonder if the police fellers are on some sort of funky ass mission to dissuade, as it were, from getting these folks help. And that could be some grimy shit if that's the intent. I don't know. I don't trust them folks. All right. And yeah, I'm a propagandist. And if you're listening to this, I don't want you to trust them either. <laughs> All right. So I really did go into this just straight off of um, Adrian Perchali sharing that with me. A shout out to Adrian Loco, also a listener of the program Knowledge Fight. Uh, shout out to the folks over there at the Knowledge Fight uh, podcast. They cover Alex Jones way more in depthifiably than I ever have. <laughs> you know, um, I've I've done my Jones coverage, but that literally is their program. They cover Alex Jones. They cover that um that wild hard hardcore shoot him in the face right wing shit, and um and I fucking respect it. They got mad style. They're fucking funny. They're fucking responsible. They, they're also nerds, nerds that research and read shit. That's also why I have this vaccine in my arm and I didn't get any of that arm soreness. I just went and did yard work right after that because the nerd said it's a good idea. 
And then you know what else the nerd said? The nerd said, come back in three weeks. I got a pumpkin full of fucking geek juice again. So fire it up, nerd boy. Let's go. <laughs> you know, like they know what the fuck they're talking about. Why wouldn't I listen to them? Like A.G. and Bracciali, um is one of the, the law nerds. If, if I'm interested in, in what law stuff is going on, I'm going to go see what the law nerd is saying. She's probably right. <laughs> Okay, so fuck the police. The po like if I want to know how to plant drugs on people and murder motherfuckers, I'll ask the police. But I ain't asking them about no motherfucking fentanyl, no um, no corona, or how to be a decent human being. All right, folks, winecellarmedia.com, little morning wine cellar coming at you. Uh, what I just had uploaded before this, if you missed it, was a reaction video to uh, 42 Doug or 42 Doug, a um, a young rapping hip hop man. And uh, my niece uh, has me doing reaction videos. And I think they could be pretty funny and ways to uh, tangent into um, our ideals, you know, and um, and our little populism and whatnot. Like, and you know how it goes with a, with a feller like me. I think we reacted to two videos and ended up with about an hour and five minutes or so of material. <laughs> and that is uh, uploaded right ahead of this. All right, folks, thanks for uh, checking the whole entire shit out and for holding it down on Patreon. Matthew Loco over there holding it down on Patreon and PayPal and the whole goddamn giggity beagle boogle bloggle. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, folks. Uh, Patreon.com slash Wine Cellar Media Fund, PayPal.me slash Phoenix and William. And I need to go on and um, go to this uh, GM plant. But first, I need to check on the, um, the food in the kitchen. I need to do some more standing Pilates and have another doobie then water the plants and then head out to the GM plant and then come back and do it all again. <laughs>